Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Strain Lifestyle Channel. And today we're throwing the Gucci Glide Bait, the Roman Made Negotiator. A Japanese hand carved wooden bait. One of the first uh, glide baits out there. And man, it's an awesome bait once you learn how to work it. She's a little finicky, you know. She don't like to be reeled too fast, reeled too slow. And she takes a little practice, but once you get the hang of it, man, it gets crushed. And when you have it in a perch pattern, man, watch out because the pike are going to be going for it. And... This spring was my first time really throwing it in the springtime. Normally, I'm not up here yet. And, man, I crushed them this spring on it. I didn't even throw a jerkbait this spring. And I'm a big jerkbait guy. And I was just using uh, the negotiator. But anyway, so it's late fall. And, man... I was going to go I was going out to my spots and the bass have just been out deep. All the uh panfish, bait fish been out deep. I'm like looking on my graph and I'm like, "Man, it's like a dead sea out there on these spots." And I was like, "Where did they all go?" It's kind of like making my way to my next spot and I look over and I see uh bait fish blowing up and uh bass and pike going after these bait fish. You can see it in the background here. Man, they're just popping all around me. Man, so I was like throwing some boot tail swim baits and stuff like that. And I wasn't even thinking glide bait yet because, I mean, it's not... You know, I like to have a little more wind. You know, it's pretty calm. But this back bait, it's kind of got a real... There's no real steep incline is kind of just a gradual like from eight to two feet i got the boat in two feet there's nothing but muck and cattails and whatnot behind me and i'm casting out to eight and there's all these different clumps of cabbage in here and i could see the bass darting out and grabbing a bait fish or coming up and swiping at my bait out of these clumps and all of a sudden I saw a little pack of perch go by and I was like boom I'm tying on the glide bait and it was on like Donkey Kong so yeah I had two different bass swipe at my bait there on those casts and then I just flipped it back out there and well you'll see what I ended up getting but yeah, so, you know, if you can, it always helps to work these glide baits uh, from deep and pull it up shallow. Because you're kind of closing the window on it. Because, man, they love to look at it because they're interested. It kind of like, you know, hypnotizes them a little bit. Because you do a real turn, you know, and the bait turns, man, and that fish like, will like match what your glide bait's doing it's kind of funny and man 
glide bait fishing is mentally taxing. You got to be paying attention because the bites are so light. So for me, it's like sight fishing and frog fishing. You know, you're seeing the bass come out of the weed and start following your bait. And then you see him hit it and it's just the lightest little tick. And you're not sure if you should set the hook or what you should do. And yeah, so anyway, but what I've been playing with, you know, when I've been seeing the the bass come up and swipe at the bait, you know, instead of jerking, you know, because you're going to blow your bait out and it's, you know, the bass won't be interested. It'd be like, man, that's the fakest thing I've ever seen. So I've been kind of just like waiting till I feel a little pullback, just like when you're frog fishing and then, uh, bringing them in. And again, with these heavier baits, you want to just keep constantly reeling them in. Got 20 pound line on. I'm using a Dobbins rod. This was actually made for the 10, not the 10 XD, but it was like Alabama rig rod. But down in Mexico, I was throwing the 10 XD on it. And man, it's just a perfect little glide bait rod. And so right here, you know, there's pads behind me, pads to the left. So it was kind of like a little funnel and a little cabbage in that funnel. And man, it was just the perfect spot for a bass to sit and ambush the glide bait. Casting it out to eight feet, bringing it up to two. And man, I wish I could get a few more of these baits because I would love to play with some of the weights in them and stuff and see if I could really dial it in. But, because it's a great bait, but it's just so finicky. You can't reel it too fast and whatnot. But yeah, so a lot of people think like, man, a glide bait bite, man, they're just going to crush it. Sometimes they do, but more often than not, it's just a little tick. And when you're glide bait fishing, like, pay attention as much as you can. Because when you see them come out tracking it, I like to do like a one, two, three. So your bait goes left, right, left. And then you kind of just let it slide out a little bit. And that's when I'll get a bite. I'll slide it out. And once the slide out stalls, you can do a little rod twitch. And a lot of times you'll get that bait to 180 and look them in the face and then you'll get bit. That's the episode, guys. Thanks for watching.